Good evening, Anita. Hi. Uh, you are you're not completely done with this book, Listen Liberal, from Thomas Frank. Mm -hmm. But I'd like to get uh, your comments so far. How has it been uh, reading this book? Very interesting reading. Um, the subtitle on it is called Whatever Happened to the Party of the People? And really he's talking about how the Democratic Party has moved away from the working class and is almost hostile currently to the working class in favor of the elite and how the whole party system has changed from um, trying to bolster a working class to really, really focusing on an elite class kind of their own version of trickle-down economics, you know, that if we pander to the elite, the 10%, not the 1%, somehow their creativity and innovation is just going to make massive amounts of money for everybody. But we all know that's not true. It's why Donald Trump won, because this kind of thinking is just pushing the middle class out of existence and creating a huge divide between wealthy and poor. They they say currently it's back to, you know, uh, Donald Trump says about making America great again. Well, right now we're in a position where it's the greatest separation between wealth and, and the average working person that it's been since the 1930s. And the, the Democratic um, Party is doing nothing to change that. Um, as a matter of fact, they're working right along. As much as, as they love to point at Republicans, they're working right along with them to, to crush the working class, to ignore the, the um, working class, or to even pretend that it doesn't exist anymore. Um, an interesting thing I saw uh, on Tom Hartman a few months ago, and I'm not a big Tom Hartman fan. I go back and forth, but I was watching. And a woman was talking, uh, one of the Democratic leaders, talking about um, manufacturing jobs. And she said, in all honesty, if we had manufacturing jobs back here in the United States, we just wouldn't be able to afford the goods that we make. And she said, plus nobody wants those kind of jobs. Well, first of all, at the time I'm wearing the socks that I have, made in America, no nonsense, made in America, that she said socks would be $15 a pair. Well, I'm wearing no nonsense, made in America socks, and they're not any more expensive than the ones made in Haiti or Vietnam. And where the problem lies in that is not the cost of manufacture, but what the CEOs, etc., are making in the in the, the process of this, of selling these goods. And another thing that really, really bothered me was when she was saying no one wants those kinds of jobs anymore. And I really am bothered by the elitist opinion that everybody should have a college degree. Because first of all, not everybody is capable of that. And to make everyone capable, we either have to dumb down universities, which we're all already in the process of doing, which makes them irrelevant, or come up with a way to make people smarter. And for many people, to simply go to a job where they do a routine every day, make a decent living so they can support a family is fine by them. There are millions of people in this country that would be quite happy making socks or t-shirts or hats or whatever it is that we can manufacture. And I, I really just felt that was such an elitist, out of touch, uncaring comment to say nobody wants that kind of job anymore anyway. And it, it really, really, um, bothered me and, and set the tone for me of where the, the Democratic Party has gone, how far they have gone from everyday people to an elitist society 
where the common person, it doesn't matter. They just don't matter anymore. The book was written before um, the presidential election, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Uh, the 2016 presidential election. Uh, would you say that the author got it right in, at the light of the election results? Oh, yeah. He, he was really... It, it's really an expose of, um, of the, the move from, from the common person in the Democratic Party to the elite in that process, but also the detrimental... Um, policies of the Clintons were amazing. I was completely unaware of the things that they have done, starting with um, removing Glass-Steagall and allowing Wall Street to run rampant. Um, the omnibus crime bill, which now makes us the number one Uh, country for prisoners in the world. I mean, we're beating out places like Saudi Arabia. Like, seriously, folks, this is disgusting. Um, the NAFTA trade bill. And one of the most interesting things to me was that um, Bill Clinton worked very closely with the Republicans during his time in office. And he was working after t removing Um, Glass-Steagall, he was working to um, privatize Social Security. So the, you know, the people who destroyed the economy in 2008 would have been allowed to take our hard-earned Social Security money and trash it. What a great plan, you know, what a great idea. And It just, um, it was really surprising to read a lot of this. And he talked about, um, you know, their electability, uh, Hillary Clinton's electability, because she had run before, and in the bad baggage that she carries as far as being an elitist, as far as being a corporatist, as far as being no longer interested in a middle class. So it's a great read. It's a good book, informative. Um, give, it a, give it a try. Awesome. Thank you, Anita. You're welcome.